Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Another Set of Eyes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at pivot tables and adding a calculated field, an additional column to our pivot table where we'll perform a calculation other than the normal ones that are built into the pivot table. So let's take a look and here we go. Here I have my data range with salespeople and their countries, regions, etc., along with units and dollars. So I'm going to create a pivot table. And to do so, I'm going to click anywhere in my data range. Um, and it's set up properly where I have unique headers and there's no empty rows or columns. So I'm going to go up to the Insert tab, select Pivot Table, and my Create Pivot Table dialog box pops up. I am going to put it on a new worksheet, so I'll just say OK. And here we have the basic outline of our pivot table. So I'm just going to take salesperson, put it into the rows, and I'm going to take dollars into the values and units into the values. And I'm just going to throw in dollars one more time because I'm going to add uh, one additional function here. And then I can close the pivot table field list. So I have sum of dollars, units, and a second sum of dollars that I'm going to convert to something else in a minute. But let's uh, do some formatting here. So I'll click into this column, go to Field Settings, Number Format, and I'm going to change it to Number with zero decimal places and a comma for the thousand separators and say OK. And I'll do the same for my units. Number Format, choose Number, zero decimal places, click that and say OK and OK. So now I'm going to put a ranking in here too so I can see which salesperson ranks the highest down to the lowest of our 11 salespeople. So I'm going to go to Field Settings and choose Show Value As. And under Show Values As drop-down, I'm going to choose Rank Largest to Smallest on Salesperson. And I'll say OK. And now we have a ranking. I'll go up here and I think I'll just change that heading to say ranking. So now I have the dollars, the units, and the ranking for each salesperson. Now what if I want to add average selling price? I want to know the dollars divided by the units and add a column for that. Well to do that I'm going to go to the Analyze tab and in the Calculations group I'm going to click the drop down arrow for Fields, Items, and Sets and I'm going to choose Calculated Field. And the Insert Calculated Field dialog box pops up. So the first thing we have to do is name the field. So I'm going to call it ASP. And in the Formulas box, I'll backspace to clear the zero. And I can choose to create my calculation from the fields that are presented here. So for Average Selling Price, I'm going to select Dollars. Now I can either double click on it or single click and and select insert field, put in my division symbol, and then do the same for units, insert field, say add, and then say OK. And now I have the average selling price. Here I'm just going to call this AVG PRICE for average price. Then I'll click into here, go to field settings, choose my number format, number, and here I'll just put the thousand separator. I'm going to leave the two decimal places. Say OK and OK. And now I've added a calculated field to my pivot table. So I have sum of dollars, sum of units, ranking, and average selling price, all from the data from my raw data worksheet. And notice now, if we open up the field list, We've added that calculated field. It is now an additional item in our list of items that we can choose to drag to the various areas of our pivot table. So since we've added that field, it is now available to us to use elsewhere in our pivot table. And there you have it, how to insert a calculated field into your pivot table. Hope you liked it. Hope it's useful to you. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to go to my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. Happy excelling.